Hey everyone, it's Amy with Retiring Right, here to teach you how to use Zoom to connect with your loved ones from a distance. Zoom is a fantastic free video call program that many businesses use, but is also great for catching up with your loved ones on a computer rather than on your phone. It's especially useful because it has a grid view feature, which allows you to see all of your family members' sweet faces at one time. So let's get started. We're gonna learn how to create a Zoom account, use Zoom for video calling, and then how to join a Zoom call that you've been invited to. First up, creating a Zoom account. So you're gonna go to Zoom's website, which is zoom.us. You can see that up here in the left. And then you're gonna click the button, sign up, it's free. Right here, you're gonna enter your email address. It says work email address, but it can be whichever one is right for you. And then click sign up. The next screen you'll see, it says, it will say, we've sent an email to whatever email address. And then this is what that email looks like. So it's gonna say, please activate your Zoom account in the subject line, and then you're gonna open it and click that blue button, activate account. The first screen this is gonna take you to is actually going to be your account info page. That's where you'll enter your full name, your email address, and whatever password you want to use for Zoom. Then it'll bring you to an invite colleagues page. You can actually skip that page because you don't need to invite anyone to use it. Then finally, you will land here, and that is your personal meeting URL. Now, let's reveal. Go to zoom.us, click sign up, it's free. Enter your email and click sign up. Find the email from Zoom in your account and click activate account. Go back to zoom.us and enter your email address and name and password, and then click host meeting and allow Zoom to download on your computer. We didn't do that process because it's already downloaded on my computer, but it's super easy. You're just gonna click host meeting at the top right, and then it's gonna prompt you to download Zoom. It doesn't take up a lot of room on your computer and it's safe and it's free. You also wanna make sure in that process to give it access to your microphone and your camera. That's it. How to use Zoom for video calling. Here's another video for you. So now that we have logged in, you're gonna to go to my account on the right, and you can see all of your information here. You're gonna click host a meeting with video on. This is gonna prompt Zoom to open. Now that it's already downloaded, it will prompt you to do that and then open up automatically right here. And ta-da, there I am, <laughs> waving again. <laughs> So if you want to turn off your video, just click the icon on the bottom left. And if you want to turn off your sound, click the microphone icon on the bottom left. If there are red lines through the icons, that means they are off. If you want your family to see and hear you, you need to make sure there are no red lines. Now let's go over the icons on the bottom of a Zoom screen. So invite means you can copy the link to this group or the invitation to this group call, or you can actually use this to send an email. Managing participants brings up a menu on the side where you can see everyone's name who's on the call. You can also mute yourself or mute other people depending on if you're the host. You can also click the chat button. If you want manage participants to go away, just click that icon again. And in the chat button, you can write a message to everyone. Hello everyone, it's just me, but that's okay. You can also record the call if you want to keep it forever. <laughs> It'll download after you're done. And then there's this reactions button if you want to put a little applause emoji in the top left or a thumbs up in the top left for when your family's talking. Now, if you want to leave, you just hit end meeting down here at the bottom. You can choose to leave or end the meeting for everyone if you are the host. Now, one more quick thing, the grid view. You're gonna click gallery view at the top right so you can see everyone in the call at the same time. It's just me in the call right now, so it's a little weird, but that's what it would look like. Otherwise, it'll be on speaker view, and speaker view means that the person talking is the biggest picture on your screen. So, how to use Zoom once you're in the meeting. Number one, make sure the microphone is on, and the mic icon does not have a red line through it. Number two, make sure your camera is on, and the video camera icon doesn't have a red line through it either. Number three, you can change your view to grid or gallery if you want to see everyone on the call at once. Speaker view will show you whoever is talking or making the most noise. Click the invite icon to copy the link to the group and send it to your friends and family to join you. Click manage members to see who is on the call. Click chat to type a message to your friends or family on the call. And click leave meeting when you're ready to go. How to join a video call. So let's say your daughter wants you to join a video call on Zoom and they send you an email. 
it's going to look like this one here on the left. Please join Zoom meeting in progress. That link, that first one, is the one you're going to want to click. Everything beneath it has to do with the phone numbers that you can call in from and the numbers that you want to enter after that. But the easiest way to join a call is to use that link at the top. And then if you don't want your video on, you can just turn it off from the icon on the screen. And that's it. Awesome. We would love for you to stay in touch. We hope this was helpful. Feel free to comment and let us know if you have any questions at all. For more tips like this, plus information on how to make the most of retirement, please follow and subscribe on Facebook and YouTube and our website. So facebook.com slash retiring right, retiring or go to YouTube and search retiring right or the retiring right show. Have a great day.